Hey, this is Professor Perez from Saddleback College. Today, we're gonna do ratios. Oh, what fun. But before we get started, we gotta get out our student of the semester, and that's Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, you ready to go? Yeah. Today, we're doing ratios. Uh-huh. Okay, here we go. Let's get started right there. Okay, Charlie, we're gonna first do the ratio of A to 6. What do we do? Write it as a fraction. Very nice, and we can reduce by dividing the top and the bottom by two. And so what's our answer, Charlie? Four over three. Very nice there. No calculator required. All right, here we go, Charlie. Let's do another one. Don't get scared. Here we have five thirds to seven over six. So we want the ratio of five thirds to seven over six, and we're gonna write our answer as a fraction, as a reduced fraction. Okay, Charlie, notice we're gonna start by writing five thirds over seven six. It's a complex fraction. And here, we're gonna use the clearing fractions technique, which means we need to use the LCD for our two fractions. What's the LCD, Charlie? Six. That's right, and so we multiply top and bottom by six, and notice, three goes into six how many times, Charlie? Two. That's right, and two times five is 10. Now notice on the bottom here, six goes into six how many times, Charlie? One. That's right, and one times seven is seven. So there's our answer, 10 over seven. Oh, what fun. All right, Charlie, let's continue now. It's the same problem, but we're gonna use a different approach. Watch. We now write 5 thirds over 7 sixths, but now we're gonna write it as a division problem. Now, some people like to do this. It's fine, you're gonna get the same answer. Now, remember, Charlie, what happens when you divide with a fraction? Multiply by its reciprocal. You multiply by its reciprocal, very nice. And notice 5 six, I'm sorry, 5 thirds times 6 over 7 the six and the three can reduce, some people call that cross-canceling, right? And it reduces as two over one. And so what's our answer, Charlie? 10 over seven. Very nice, it's the same answer as this one, of course. All right, Charlie, let's continue on. Here we go. Now we have 0 0.3 to 0 0.7, which is three tenths to seven tenths, right? So we're gonna go ahead and write the decimals as a fraction, and we're gonna use our clearing fraction technique. What's our LCD, Charlie? 10. That's right, so we multiply top and bottom by 10, right? Notice the tens cancel, so what's left on top? Three. That's right, and on the bottom, seven. There we go. We're done with that one. Let's do another one. All right, Charlie, here we go. It's the same problem again, but we're gonna do it using the clearing decimals techniques. Remember, one thing we wanna realize is when you clear decimals, it's really clearing fractions because three tenths is three over 10, that's 0 0.3. But with a decimal, when you multiply 0 0.3 times 10, you move the decimal one place to the right. And so 0 0.3 times 10 is what? Three, three, because three tenths times 10 is three. You can see it right there with the fractions. So we just move the decimal one place to the right. So Charlie, what's 0 0.7 times 10? Seven. That's right, seven, and there's our answer. Same answer, of course. There we go. So, let's do some more, Charlie. Now, three-fifths to 0 0.4. Really, it's three-fifths to four-tenths, right? So we'll start by writing three-fifths over 0 0.4, and now we'll write the decimal 0 0.4 as its fraction, four-tenths. So it's really three-fifths over four-tenths, right? And so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna write it as a division problem there it is, reduce the two fifths. And now what do we do when we divide with a fraction, Charlie? Multiply by reciprocal. That's right. And we can see the fives cancel out. And so what's our final answer, Charlie? Three over two. Very nice there, three over two. There you go, don't forget to box your answer. All right, let's do another one. Here we have the ratio of 0 0.36 to 0 0.62. Remember, that's 36 hundredths to 62 hundredths. So we're gonna clear our decimals by multiplying top and bottom by 100, which is basically the LCD, because 0 0.36 is 36 over 100, right? And 0 0.62 is 62 over 100. So when we multiply decimal by 100, what do we do, Charlie? Move it to the right two places. That's right, so we get 36 on top. What's on bottom? 62. Very nice there, Charlie. And now if we divide the top and the bottom by two, What's 36 divided by two, Charlie? 18. And 62 divided by two? 31. Very nice there, Charlie. 18 over 31. 
Oh, what fun. Let's do another one. Here we go now. All right, Chuck, don't get scared. Now, here we have the ratio of 0 0.3 to 0 0.21. It's, we're asked to find the ratio of 3 tenths to 21 hundredths. And so here we're going to clear the decimals out. Now, remember, it's 3 tenths over 21 hundredths. And so, Charlie, what's our LCD? 100. It's 100, of course. Remember, you cannot just multiply the top by 10 and the bottom by 100. Remember, whatever you do to the top, you must do the same thing to the bottom, right? Unless you want to come back and repeat the class with him. Anyway, what? okay, so we got to multiply both top and bottom by 100 because what's controlling everything is that bottom decimal, the 21 hundredths. That's defining what our LCD is, right? Okay, so we move the decimal two places to the right. What's 0 0.3 times 100, Charlie? 30. Very nice. And 0 0.21 times 100? Very nice there, Charlie. So we get 30 over 21. If we divide the top and the bottom by 3, what do we get, Charlie? 10 over 7. Very nice there. So that completes our lecture on ratios. Oh, what fun. We'll see you all again soon.